Yes! Favorite pastime, another orchid shuffle, but we're going in the right direction! I hate the shuffles that go, you know, preparing for winter, fall, all that stuff, but today we have to do an orchid shuffle because this needs to go there, and this needs to go over there as well, and all of the rapiculous lalias get to go and enjoy the great outdoors away from the protection of the blooming alley because of this. Look at my night temperatures for the coming week. I know I may be a little bit early, but I think we're going to be okay. And the Friday rain forecast is also going to be okay. At the moment, it's only looking at 5%. So that can change, of course. But I don't think it's going to be that bad, seeing as Rapiculus Lelias do like a little bit of rain this time of year as they are coming into the warmer temperatures. <laughs> oh, like I said, this is the shuffle I love the best. So, I wish you were here. It is a tight squeeze in the blooming alley, but we would have so much fun shuffling together. So instead of you being here, the best thing I can do is the fact that I've got video. I'm just going to pretend that you're here with me and I'll be muttering and musing to you as I do this. Woohoo! <laughs> Cartwheels around the patio. Okay, this is always very, very interesting because the barbecue table, <laughs> that's what it actually is. <laughs> it's the mise en place for the barbecue. <laughs> it's a little bit wobbly with a heavy marble slate on the top. It's a little bit precarious. I don't want to break it. I need it. <laughs> anyway, it would be great if I had another set of hands because then all we need to do is lift it up together. But hey, if you're just gonna stand there, and watch me work. <laughs> Good on you. Would you just hold my beer? That would be much appreciated. <laughs> anyway, I know that this is all a little bit weird. I'm coming into shot, hopefully not mooning you. <laughs> uh, yes, I know this looks weird. Let me just check and see if we can even see anything. Are we there yet? No, not quite. <laughs> almost. Almost. And I will probably have some inspections going on because as the pups come around and see what's going on they have to be in the middle of it well at least i know one might be oh you see this yeah that's scary i don't want that so let me very carefully and i know this looks like what is she doing always walking around well i don't want to block the camera for one and I don't want to break this table. <laughs> it is much needed. <laughs> but I do want to get it as close to the head as possible. And somewhat straight. There's no real straight lines here. But you know what? Just keep the aesthetics a little bit even. You see how wobbly it is? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's the, only the marble plate on the top that is keeping it together. First thing is dealt with. Now let's get that rack. Let's get that rack. First, I have to move the wildcat, purdy purdy in bloom. Oh, that pot feels a little empty. I need to fill that one up. And then my purdy purdy berry Oda has to find pride of place for the time being. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, she looks marvelous, but I think, ah, you saw her in the opening shot, so it's fine. Um, yeah, my curious little elephant plant that's been doing quite well. And do I need to move those? Anyway, let's give this a go. My egg crates, my daughter is saving when she can from the place where she works and she brings them home. They're amazing, coming through. Tight squeeze coming through. Okay, I don't like the wobble. Right, we may need to adjust some feet down there. <sighs> Rusty, not purdy. Not really that big a deal. There's not much of a balance difference here. But, you know, just for peace of mind. There we go. Are we steady? <laughs> Did we do well? 
Look at that gorgeousness. Anyway, she is going to have to go, but I have to start with the big Rapiculus Lelia pots first. So once that space is cleared in the blooming alley, the berry odor can go back there. So let's go and get the XXL size Rapiculus Lelia pots and start over here. And of course, nothing is straightforward because in the blooming alley, I've got other things going on. <laughs> you have to shuffle before you can shuffle. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so much fun. So excited, such a relief. All right, just randomly placing things here. I'll show you the Kautskiana that I got from Anonymous. <laughs> Next larger looking one, Lelia Flava. Sangiloba. Popstii. Crispata. Blooming Alley is cleared. Berioto goes back. <laughs> Ooh, that fragrance is delicious. And it will soon be joined by the wonderful Freesia fragrance of a Dendrobium Nobili. The buds, <sighs> some of them are starting to crack open. So we'll just put that one there. All right, so the idea being from tallest to the next tallest and making sure that the sun or the light influence maintains its status quo. So we got to keep that in mind, the direction of light. The facade behind me is white with a white curtain. So I just have to always respect the positioning so that the growths don't get confused for those of them that did actually have new growths during the winter. So it was positioned like that before, meaning it has to go that way now. Okay. Sorry, does take some thought. <laughs> you were like that before. Uh, you're okay because you're going sideways. There we go. Something like that. Hey, hey happy days. Moving on swiftly. Now we're going to go down a size. We'll stick with tall ones and bring them somewhat together. We have Lelia Briageri. And this is the one from Anonymous. This is my Hone. Coming in with Ensfelsiae and Mantecari. Make sure I always remember the direction of the light. Don't get ahead of myself. Then we have another tall one in the back here. Well, tall, but you know, if we're going by size, etc. And also pot display, square with square. We've got Guayense coming up clutch with a beautiful new growth that matured over the winter. And Brade. This one used to be very wobbly in the pot. It's not anymore. <laughs> then we have Lucasiana and Regina. Now I may actually start moving these around because I do have some doubles. The smaller pots are going to that table. So we'll see, we'll see how it works out. For now, let's just do that. We've got Lelia Angareri. Face it away from me. And Gracilis, do a little bit of weeding. Actually, no, this is Flava Solina, sorry. Still hasn't bloomed for me, but okay, still alive. Then I have Masin Corana right here. And the Lelia Millery crossed with Long Gips. Make sure that the one new growth that we saw recently is respected. The other one is not progressing. I lost one new growth. Okay, for now, that is this gorgeous table full of gems. Love! Moving on swiftly. Stop, stop, stop. We ain't got all day. Even though on a day like this, it feels like we should have all day, but we don't. Meanwhile, while I'm pottying around in the background here, in my very echoey blooming alley, and you are standing in the sunshine holding my beer, would you mind please hitting the like button? <laughs> If I may be so bold as to ask you to be productive and proactive, <laughs> hit that like button, please. 
And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. This is a major, major day for me and my collection because here we are. They are back at the hedge for a stint. Please subscribe. My growth season is just beginning. It would be so amazing to have you on board. Let me know you're here in the comments so that I can welcome you. Y muchas gracias because Southern Spain is living up to its name. Another rhyme. I just can't help myself today. Here is Gracilis. Not a rapiculous Lelia, but has the same care as my little Maitsuro. The new growth is beautiful pink and white. Gorgeous. <laughs> I have them like that together because A, not just the pots, but also because they actually have the same care. So I'm mindful of that. Two more non-rapiculous Lelias. This is my Cernua. Same care. Seed pods doing great. Lelia Fufuracea. Yeah. Could be better. Now, oops, we're going to have maybe... I don't want to lose that seed pod. Let's move you like this. Also not a Rapiculus Lelia, but same care. I've lost a leaf. I'm concerned about this one, even though it looks good. All right, next up. Not a Rapiculus Lelia. So we'll move Gracilis forward. There we go. That means the back row is all non rapiculous Lelias. Bring Gracilis forward. And that is my Lutin Blanc, just about to finish its blooms. It's been magnificent blooming for me all this time. And now we're going to start with the little pots, also going by height from left to right. And that rhymes as well. Goodness, goodness me, we are on point today. All righty ho. Here comes. Bayensis and Alvarenguensis. So we just respect the direction of light for both of them. This was more this way. I mean, they are in the shade. They will be for some time until the angle of the sun starts to reach this area. It'll take another month or two, at least six weeks, but at least they are, let's say, out of the protection of the blooming alley and starting to get hardened off. And then we have to shuffle them again. But you know what? <laughs> Champagne problems on a beautiful day like this. <laughs> I'll take these shuffles any day, every day. As I mentioned, it is the reverse shuffles that I am not keen about but this moving into spring shuffle sweet dreams are made of this <laughs> you are bloom and shiny eye doing great and you are regenti eye now i have to be careful because i have doubles of regenti eye i'd like to keep them all together so let's get the other regenti eyes out and see that we find them regenti eye regenti eye Ooh, not that difficult to find when they're all together initially. So we have some teeny tiny new growths already matured in the back there. And just respect the light once again. I know I'm repeating myself. Like I said, musings and mutterings. <laughs> Don't know what the thumbnail is going to be like, but musings and mutterings. Now, let's see. Oh, we have some tall ones, but... They are in a different pot, so for the sake of continuity and aesthetics, let's see if we can't get my little coccinia out here. So, of course, it wouldn't be a shuffle if you didn't get it right the first time, right? Again, not a rapiculous lelia, but same care. And my teeny tiny wannabe, a clandier, going right there. So that makes these three go in a row. Alrighty, there we go. <laughs> but wait, there's more. My blooming alley is sounding hollow. Alrighty, I have one more in a square pot that'll fit nicely at the end, I think. That's the Kolnagoi. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. That fits perfectly. And now we start with the Sincoranas of which I have several. Just have to make sure that they're nicely balanced because normally these are all in their own separate cups, but the cups don't come into effect until it is true, well and truly, you know, not going to rain that much anymore because I don't want the pots to drown out if I'm not vigilant. Holla. 
<laughs> then that's easily, easily done. So I have Sincorana variety Cerula coming up, coming up. Um, we've got three growths there. So we'll respect that direction. And this is Itambana, not growing any new growths just yet, but it should be soon. Busy with the root front, which is also important. Let me make sure that this growth of my first Sincorana is actually synced according to what was before. Memory bank has to kick in. I think we're right. I think we're about right like that. Okay, next up, we've got two pots that don't look uniform. They're cute nonetheless. That is the Esarchiana to my left. Not this one. This is Esarchiana right here. I put them on a little dish just to give the pots more stability because they are narrow at the base. And then here's the crispy labia. So he thinks we're already going to be scooch, scooch a bit here. Watch out for the leaves because they pop off easily, especially when you're excited and not paying attention, woman. Pay attention. There we go. More scooching. Okay, I'm not expecting any gales, but you know, these are precious to me. My blooming alley, can you hear me? Hello, 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 hello. It's like an echo in here without them. Here comes Giuliana and Itambana. So, I said Itambana already, so you must be Ketiana. Ketiana. Yeah, you go here, you look big leaf, but I have another one that's a bit bigger than all these two. So let's go and get that one. La la la, la 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 la. Children playing soccer with their family in the neighborhood. I love it. I love it. The sound of children's laughter is like the angels have composed a beautiful piece of music in the heavens. Love it. Okay, here we go. They could invite me to the barbecue though. <laughs> That's fornery right here. Mm, busy on the root front, which is great because if it does rain on Friday, I doubt it. Seeing as the forecast only shows 5% throughout the course of the day's maximum. Eh, I don't know why they put a little cloud icon there. It's really not relevant, but if it does rain, all of them that are growing roots, that is what they're now waiting for, even though I have been watering. And I'm not quite sure. Ah, yes, you're right. Here's a new growth on the Giuliani. So that's correct. All right, let me just go and double check and see if I've got them all. No, I don't have them all. Oh, here we go. We have a tall one. <laughs> it would actually mean shuffling all of these one down. But for now, I think I'm just going to love and leave you. You get my point. You get my point because look, Harpophila. Actually, this is my first Kautskiana. It's recovering. I have another Millery indoors. That's not coming out just yet, but it's growing a new growth, which is exciting. So, of course, my Lelia Harpophila isn't this gorgeous. And you know what? Look at this, the new growth that was growing throughout the winter. It also has a bud. Little Speedy Gonzalez was here. I never expected this to grow throughout the winter. So this was the growth that grew as I normally would anticipate with this orchid, as I've become accustomed to. And it's right on time with its blooming. What I didn't expect was a later growth in the season and to speed up to such a degree that it's also about to come into bloom. Just one bud, but you know what? Amazing. So of course my Harpophila is going to go into the blooming alley. It's not staying out here. These blooms will be around for quite some time, I hope. If Mr. Gecko doesn't come out too soon and then nips off spikes. Yes, I'm anticipating Mr. Gecko at any moment because as the night temperatures warm up, he'll be back. Maybe he's got a partner. Maybe he's going to bring his kiddos. We won't know. Just one second. I'm going to put her pillow back and let's have a look-see at what all this beautiful spread is that I now can see from my living room window. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, if you have orchids, let's say a genus, let's say a collection within a collection that you love so much, 
Don't you feel so wonderful when you see them all beautifully presented? Oh, I love it when this happens. <laughs> anyway, this is pretty much what I have been doing today. Thank you so much for holding my beer. I'm going to now take a sip and eventually we'll have a closer look at all the shenanigans these guys are getting up to. I just did a recent update. Not much has changed, but others are activating. And until we can't actually identify those teeny tiny growths that are popping at the base, because they really are microscopic until they, you know, advance a little bit more, this is going to be it for now. Thank you so much for joining me on the patio. Gluck, 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 gluck. Have yourself a beautiful day on that one condition, though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.